Well, people in the greater Toronto area have one more option to get around to today. Hover is a ride hailing app based in Toronto that comes with the promise of fair pay for drivers, but can it compete with Uber and Lyft? Harrison Ahmet is the founder and CEO of Hover, and he joins me now in studio. Harrison, thanks for being on the program. Absolutely, thanks for having me, Travis. So we are approaching the end of day one. Yeah. How have operations been so far? So far, so good. Uh, you know, we've gotten tons of attraction on the platform from riders and drivers, uh, and you know, everything is running as smooth as it can be for day one. Okay, so let's talk about the differences with Hover as opposed to Uber and Lyft. Absolutely. So fundamentally, we have a different business model. So we employ a membership model for the drivers. So instead of taking a commission per ride, uh, they keep 100% of the fares. So our slogan is also our business model. 100% fare is 100% fare. So drivers can pay that monthly membership, keep 100% of the fares. And as a result, that, res uh, that allows us to charge less so riders pay less and drivers earn more. So how do you make profit then as a company? Absolutely, it's a great question. It's usually <laughs> the next one that right. comes around. So yeah. uh, the fares for us are described as the per kilometer rate, the per time rate, as well as the base rate. That's the fare. So the others, the uh, other rideshare companies, they take a percentage out of that. And so that's the driver's earnings. They keep 100% of that. Now it's still a business. There are still fees involved. Now the fees that the rider pays are the fares plus the total fees. We have a $1 platform fee along with the city fee, the insurance fee, and the, plat the transaction fee. Right. And so that's how we uh, earn our keep. Okay, we've been hearing, uh, as you well know, uh, about multiple strikes, calling for better pay, better working conditions uh, for the drivers of the other platforms. Absolutely. Uh, so what's been the uptake for you in terms of drivers? Are you getting a lot of people on the platform already? Yeah, both drivers and riders have been, you know, very, very uh, excited about our platform. Uh, from the driver's side in relation to the demonstrations, yeah. I mean, it, it, cool, it, it aligns perfectly, right? They're asking for better pay. We give them 100% of the fares. We don't take the commissions. They have predictable kind of a flat monthly rate that they know that what they can work with rather mm. than losing. You know, the more they work, the more they lose on the other platforms, right? So uh, they've been very, very excited about Hover coming to the market and uh, signing up on our wait list, downloading the app, and also sharing it with riders. You say that this idea came from you actually taking Ubers. Absolutely, yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, no, for sure. So when I first moved to the city of Toronto, it was key for me to be on time for some of the meetings that I had scheduled for mm -hmm. myself. And so rather than gambling with the public transit system that was brand new to me at the time, I decided to employ rideshare services. And so getting in these rides, talking to these drivers, I was able to have tons of conversations that gave me invaluable insights to a day in the life and how the platform actually worked. And then once the companies went public, I was able to kind of do the real research that was required to be able to build out a business case, to be able to have, you know, Hover come to light. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so uh, as you know, there are, you know, a, a lot of apps out there. Uber and Lyft are, are two of the primary ones that we talked about. Uh, and some would say the market is saturated. So how do you think Hover is going to compete and how are you going to get the word out? Obviously, you know, this program and others, but, but uh, do you think that there's going to be a, a lot of uptake when it comes to customers? Absolutely. I think that the people who are getting into uh, Ubers and Lyfts are doing it out of necessity. Mm -hmm. There's no brand loyalty there. It's really not about one or the other. They flip through the app, see who costs less, who's going to come the fastest, who's going to meet their needs. And then at that time, and that's who they choose. So for us to come into the market with a, a better offer for both the rider and the driver, uh, you'll actually find that riders who ride frequently are acutely aware of the issues that the drivers face because they've heard it time after time after time, day yeah. in and day out, that you know the drivers aren't treated fairly. So they're very, uh, it's been a fric frictionless experience getting the riders onto our platform as well as the drivers. Are you, are you worried that you're going up against two uh, mega corporations, two giants? Yeah, no, it's another, you know, popular question, and uh, thank you for asking. It, uh, there's no fear whatsoever. I'll be honest with you. This company and this type of business is driven by people. Um, we are the people's platform, and we've gotten the uptake that we've needed to be able to, you know, come to market and go to market, and so I don't think there's any stopping this movement. So it's in Toronto right now, and where else? Or yeah, just so Toronto? Toronto is our, our pilot city. It's our first city, and uh, we'll look to expand as we learn kind of the ebbs and flows of how uh, other cities, you know, drivers look to ask for Hover to come. Where do you think this is going to be in five years? In five years. Still going to be around? 
Absolutely. Yeah, no, there's no doubt in my mind. Hover in five years will be a global company. It's for, it, there's no doubt in my mind. We've had conversations with uh, government officials of different nations that have employed, uh, asked us, you know, bring your model to our country. It's fantastic. It supports the drivers. It supports the economy. It helps everybody. So it's a win-win. Okay. Yeah. Harrison, thanks for being here. Thank you, Travis. That is Appreciate Harrison it. Ahmet, the founder and CEO of Hover.